Hi everyone, this is Dr. Yadav here and here I am sharing some tips so that you can achieve excellence in your aesthetic photographs. Let's talk about some errors first. One of the most common errors that I see is where the incisal edge is not really parallel to the horizon or the filtrum is not perpendicular to the horizon right there. Now how do we get there? Let's see. Okay. Oh, no. Another error that keeps you from taking really high quality photographs is using no contraster. Let me show you what it looks like without the contraster first. Coming in. Notice how you are able to see a lot of the tongue in there and even the lip. We did not retract that well and also we did not have the contraster in there. Another big error is that we do not clean our stage before we take the photograph. Now what do I mean with that? What if your patient just had lunch and has some food particles stuck in there? Or if they're clean, they have saliva right in the interproximal, right over the dental purple up. Let's see how that looks like. In this error, what we see is the retractors are not pulled apart the, with the same force that they should be, and they're ra rather loose, and they come within the frame of your photograph. Let's see how that looks like. Now, this last mistake is not really a mistake. However, this will actually elevate your photography ga game from good to great. It is when we use the wrong flash. Let's see what we get. Okay, Lillian, can you pull as much as possible for me? Thank you. Awesome. Here are three tips so that you can elevate your photography. Number one, let's select the right equipment. The year is 2024. The entire world of photography has moved on to mirrorless systems. So have I, and I believe all dentists should. Here is the Canon mirrorless system that I've been using for over a year now. This is the Canon R7 body. We have the Canon RF 100 millimeters f 2.8 l macro is usm this is a professional macro photography camera and also great for portraits and we're using the right flash for our anterior aesthetic photographs this is a canon twin flash the mtex rt this is the older version but it works like a charm and notice what i have right on the flash units right there this is a diffuser and it comes in the box Notice that I do not have any big diffuser systems right attached to my camera because I like to keep things simple. The next step is to select, to set the stage. This is how we set the stage. Number one, the operator comes in and adjusts the metal retractors on the cheeks. Then can you just open up halfway for me and keep your cheeks loose for me? Perfect. A little more. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Perfect. Let me help you right there. Gently place these in inside the vestibule and that's perfect and then comes the next one is gentle Perfect and try to feel this in try to retract the cheeks while you're doing this All right, I have a good pull right here Lillian Do you feel the pressure that I'm pulling in right there? Mm -hmm. Can you hold that for me at that? And this is where the patient becomes involved in the process. It's a beautiful thing Awesome, and I'm gonna just pull this up so that I can actually expose a little bit of the gingival tissues plus the teeth that I'm going to be photographing right there. The next thing is where the assistant comes in and she uses a double step around every single tooth that we have. And now we have a field which has no debris in it. The third thing that comes in is the contrastor. 
and it gently just slides in and notice that I am not touching it to the teeth. It has a certain distance. Once we have set the stage, that is when our camera comes in. And the last and the third tip is to actually fill the frame. Fill the frame with the teeth that you want to photograph. Do not take a photograph from far away and then crop in or go too close and lose sight of what you were trying to photograph. Fill the frame, look into the eyepiece and fill it. Let's do that now. Okay, everything looks good, I'm coming in. Nice. And that is our final image.